Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about Ninja La. And I played the early access and I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it after release. And I'm going to share my opinion why. Now I've been waiting for this game and I was looking forward to play this game and spend many many hours uh, playing it. The thing is that aside from the gameplay itself, everything is great. Well, except for the bugs and connection issues, which I'm sure they're gonna solve. But the gameplay itself feels so awkward. And I also played for the story, which I think is amazing. I really like it, kind of anime style comics uh, with, with battles and stuff. It was so cool. I mean, I had so much fun just watching this, you know, seeing the character uh, evolve. Uh, through this comic and the silver episode with some really cool battles and a boss battle So that actually part I really enjoyed But things change when things get more chaotic and when you play against real players uh, In a battle arena uh, Things change completely because of course those very easy to eliminate uh, uh, NPCs and even the boss It's not real players Now the controls just feel you know bad and I tried to uh, play around with different camera settings to see whether it will connect and it's very important for fighting games to nail the controls right but I just finding myself playing around with this trick trying to position myself you know looking at the right direction and even when you get close up and of course it's a fighting game you're gonna go melee and you're gonna hit enemies you lose orientation so quickly now I know they did probably the best they can in order to make sure that you know locking on enemies and attacking will feel kind of uh, uh, comfortable so you don't need to be very very precise so if you lock on enemy if you hit it's just gonna go and attack the enemy towards their direction but again when it comes to playing against, out in, against human control characters not NPCs it's a complete mess it's like instead of fighting other players, I'm just fighting with the controls. That's how it felt like. Now, the, on the positive side, uh, there are lots of things here uh, in your disposal in the battle. I mean, many type of controls and abilities which you can use, which is great. You can load different slots. They can put kind of a cards that they enable different type of abilities aside from the ones that you actually have. You have a large variety of weapons. Which you can use each one opens up uh, different type of attacks and other unique abilities you also have your ultimate move you can actually parry attacks and uh, many other great things that make the gameplay feels kind of a complex and fun although having said that uh, the parry system itself is basically rock paper scissors uh, so you have a random chance uh, to actually beat or get beaten by the opponent. Which of course for a competitive game this is just silly. I mean you don't want to lie on random chance when you're actually fighting. You want it to be skill based, right? Now what you're going to see here in front of you on the screen, this is part of the story. This is actually the part of the game which I really liked. And it made me feel like if it was kind of a single player game, fighting game where you can follow a story with kind of a manga style, Japanese uh, comic style visuals, uh, it could be really nice. Uh, so I really like having this part of the game, but of course the focus is not on this. This is a multiplayer game. The, the part of the story is just kind of a very small part, uh, which is really fun. But again, this is not the main game. The main game is fighting other battle royale or team based uh, um, matches. Uh, the only two modes right now uh, and that's it just jump into and try to win with your teammate all alone to get the highest score and of course you're gonna get rewarded for this at the end of the round now although there are not many players actually just five versus five yet it feels like you are playing like like a super smash bros with uh, 60 or 32 players at the same time lots of the attacks rely on uh, actually stunning enemies and you know every kind of delay we can get stuck in a combo and not get out while it's already initiated but again uh, in order to make sure that uh, I'm criticizing the gameplay correctly of course I need to play many many more games in order to make sure that you know I understand completely all the mechanics and I know how to control them well but unfortunately I don't see myself actually getting there and it feels so bad because when I saw this story look how beautiful it is look how beautiful it just looks amazing 
and I was so immersed into the game when I started making, you know, playing the story, and I was looking forward, you know, just continue the journey and just play, uh, you know, the multiplayer and just enjoy the whole experience. But the multiplayer part was actually ruined everything. Now, I really like those games where you have so many options and you you, are, you kind of uh, get rewarded for everything you do and you unlock so many things and even the kind of a like kind of a something like a slot machine we need to pay not pay will mean money yeah of course you can buy the currency to do it uh, and you just get some random stuff which is really cool as well uh, but overall with all this fancy stuff uh, which is great the game is the gameplay is the most important thing and I just didn't connect with it. Even in the single player, I already felt that it's going to be problematic. Just moving in the 3D space in a 5D game, this is something that needs to be nailed correctly. Because if not, it's just terrible to play with the controls. Now, I played it handheld, keep this in mind. And uh, I mean, you can try to play it with the controller and see whether it feels better for you. But I think the problem, main the problem is the, with the camera control. So it doesn't actually, I think, uh, matter if you use it with uh, uh, Joy-Cons or you play it with a Nintendo Switch controller, it still felt awkward. Now I'm very sad to say this, all of this, because you can clearly see the developer put a great deal of attention to make a really complete and immersive game. There's so many options out there and really it feels very rewarding playing, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Now asking myself, should I go back, give it like, I mean, maybe I'm judging it too early, like give it at least uh, maybe a week. Well, you see, I don't want to think about whether I'll be enjoying the game. I want to enjoy it right now. Uh, I'm disappointed, I have to tell you. I mean, just seeing those comics, beautiful ones, and the, the funny characters, their interaction, how uh, my character interact with his master. I just wanted to play more, 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 and more, and more, but, um, but, you know, the gameplay, the gameplay is just not good. By the way, uh, I'm the type of person, a player who kind of get bored with um, fighting games relatively quickly, uh, but I thought this one would be different. First of all, I like the presentation, the visuals are crazily beautiful crazy beautiful both the comics in the single player the character design perfect just perfect i love them so much so lovable characters and the intro that they made the trailers and the story the animation just mind-blowing beautiful Th this one i have to give the developer you can actually see the different episodes by the way of the story uh and by the way i stopped it the second one and continue playing the multiplayer but when i get back to it i'm probably going to continue the story first and then go back to the multiplayer. Anyway, I just want to see how the developer actually uh, kind of uh, you know tackle this uh, because you know there are many problems here, and uh, uh, I think that I I'm, I'm won't be the only one who will complain about the controls and the game feel kind of very chaotic and messy. Um, and I don't know what the developer can do, uh, really. Maybe kind of fine tune the controls, maybe allow some settings for players to kind of find the. Uh, control of the camera and the character a bit confusing so again my first impression of the game after release unfortunately are not that good uh, and again I'm very disappointed because I really wanted to enjoy the game I will jump into it later on this evening play a few more hours see maybe I will connect with it maybe maybe kind of you know sometimes you need to get uh, kind of used for different controls uh, so I remember even uh, a friend of mine when he just pick up uh, I remember even the control of the PlayStation 4 it was used for the keyboard he just couldn't get it it just takes some time to get used to and this is uh, true to controllers and also to the controls in the game itself I wish the camera move and stuff this is something in relative to muscle memory and kind of you need, you need to get used to it but it will take time so this is the only thing that I think that I need to give the game a bit more time because I think things might improve while I play the game more and maybe the gameplay that feels very chaotic might feel kind of more easier to understand the more I play it. So no, I'm not giving up on the game just yet, although at this point it feels kind of uh, boring in a way because you're kind of fighting something that you don't want to fight, you want to enjoy it, you know, in the very first moment. But I will give it a chance. I'll give it a second try and see how it goes. 
So again, it's a free game. Of course, there are uh, microtransactions, keep this in mind, and battle pass and stuff. But it's a free game, so you can just pick up at the at the Nintendo store and just try it out and play it. And I do recommend give it a bit more time. I think judging it like in the first few hours may be a bit too harsh. So just give it time. Also give it more time and see how it goes. Uh, hopefully. Uh, if I'm gonna find a place where I actually enjoy it, I'll be continue playing it because again, <laughs> when it comes to gameplay, there are issues for me. But again, all the other things is really an amazing world that I want to be part of. Hopefully, I will connect. Again, thanks for watching, everyone. Consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video if you like it. I see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.